It was a big one on Saturday as the MC women's team, 11-3 coming in, ranked number 10 in the latest NJCAA D3 National Top 10, took on the Cecil Seahawks, 11-2 and ranked number 13 in the NJCAA D2 National Poll. And this one also had Maryland Juco title implications as they both started the day 4-1 in the league and just a half game out of first place. So given their records, this one looked like it would be a tight one. But the Raptors may have had other plans as they jumped out to a quick lead when Jewel Johnson fed Anu Bamijoko and the Raptors were off and running, quickly going up 8-2 after this Armani Lomax jumper. And then just five minutes in, they pushed the lead to nine on this sweet three from Cherie Addison. Now folks, you gotta cover her out there. The Raptors' tenacious defense played a big part in their quick start. Cecil had problems handling the pressure Here's MC's defense forcing a backcourt violation. And the Raptors showed they could run at will or play in the half court. Kalima Johnson's three off the set offense pushed the Raptors' lead to 24-12 as the first quarter came to a close. Cecil seemed to recover a bit at the start of the second quarter and cut the lead to seven just two minutes in on this nifty fast break. But MC would have none of that as Bami Joko's put back one of her 13 rebounds on the day pushed the Raptor lead back to 10. It seemed like every time the Seahawks might claw back into it, the Raptors' D would put a stop to it. Here, intense backcourt pressure results in a steal by Destiny Gray. And the Raptors kept building the lead, pushing it to 19 when Armani Lomax buried this 18-footer. And that was the margin at the half as MC led 46-27 at the break. The Raptors came out strong in the second half, determined not to let Cecil back into it. A big part of their success all day was ball movement against the Cecil zone. And it helps when you have shooters like Kalima Johnson who buries this three to push the MC lead to 22. And I can't emphasize enough how much MC's defense bollocked up the Cecil attack. Here it is again, creating yet another turnover after a made foul shot. MC's half-court D was strong all day, too. Johnson alters the shot, grabs the rebound, and then Jewel Johnson spots Addison all the way down the court for the mid-range hoop, pushing the lead to 26. Cecil tried to climb back in by applying their own press, but MC handled it most of the time. Here, the ball never touches the floor as they calmly get the ball to Johnson for two more of her 25. Moments later, they beat the pressure again and then show off why they won the rebound battle 70 to 59 as Lomax just won't quit on it to add two more of her game high 27 as the Raptors led by 18 after three. The Raptors dominance on both ends made the fourth quarter almost academic. Lomax with two more of her 27 despite the hard foul. Kalima Johnson buries another three on her way to 25. Cherie Addison with a deep three of her own to give her 19. Then Lomax again snaking through the Seahawks defense. Johnson again with her 20th rebound and another putback. As the Raptors cruise to perhaps their most impressive win of the season so far, 93-76. The win improves their record to 12 and three as they prepare for their game against arch rival Prince George's on Wednesday. For the Raptor Report, I'm Michael Brown.